Friday to you coders. How's your March starting off? Let me see who's here with us. Okay, let's see. I see Darlene. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Christy. Hi, Tina. Glad you guys are with us. And along with me, I'm Miss Melissa, if you don't already know. I have a wonderful team. I have the ever so blessed Miss Altangela with us tonight. Hi, Miss Altangela. How are you? I'm doing very well, Miss Melissa, and I pray that you are doing well. And Coders, I hope that you're all ready to have a great night of coding, and I pray that your weekend was just wonderful. Thank you, Miss Al. We appreciate you being here with us. And along with Miss Al, I have Miss Jeannie. Hi, Miss Jeannie. How are you? Hey, Miss Melissa. Hi, Miss Al. Hi, coders. Uh, I am good. I'm. I was telling Miss Al, I'm. I've, I'm in my room. I got a little space heater on me, and me and the cats are in here. We're all warm and snuggly, and ready to sit down and do some coding. Speaking of space heaters, how many of you are in? frigid cold. I feel like it's everywhere. Hold on one moment. My chat box disappeared, so I can't even see you answering my questions. Oh, Miss Cheryl, she says she's in 20 below. I am so sorry. I am not that cold, uh, but it is chilly. I hope you're staying warm. All right. Well, as you know, we're, we're in week, I mean, track one, day one of track one, and that is integumentary system. So let's get started on the integumentary system. Chat. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, here we go. Miss Al, will you read this first scenario for us? Ma'am, I'll be happy to. All right, coders. The answers are A, sunburn, B, burn from a fire, C, burn from a hot appliance, D, burn from a chemical. In ICD 10 CM, what type of burn is considered corrosion? And Kodos, I think you think uh, a minute is fine with this? So that sounds great. Yeah, one minute and your time starts right now to Coders. All right, coders, your time is up. Great, thank you, Miss Altangela. And coders, you did amazing. We're off to a great start. So 
An ICD 10 CM, what type of burn is considered corrosion? And I think 100% of you said D. Burn from a chemical is considered corrosion. So outstanding, amazing. We're off to the races. All right, we'll move on to our next scenario. Miss uh, Jeannie, would you read this one? I certainly will. All right, the answers are A, T24.292A, T24.192A, and T31.20. B, T24.292A, T21.31XA, T31.20. C, T24.109A, T25.11A, T21.21XA, T22.392A, T21.23XA, T31.31XA, and D, T24.392A, T21.31XA, T21.23XA, T22.232A, and T31.20. A patient presents to the ED physician with multiple burns. After examination, the physician determines the patient has third degree burns of the anterior and posterior portion of his left leg, starting at the knee, extending above the ankle, 4.5%. He also has third degree burns of the anterior portion of the left side, left side of his chest, 4.5%. The patient also has second degree burns of the posterior portion of his upper back and left upper arm, 13.5%. What ICD-10 CM codes are reported? And we'll start with two and a half minutes and beginning now. All right, coders, that is time. 
All right, I'm just gonna take a look real quick in the chat, see what we got going on here. See if you guys need more time or did you get this? Okay, I'm gonna give you a little bit longer because burns are burns take a little bit longer if you're not practiced and I'm gonna show you a trick. So Miss Jeannie, would you put another maybe 45 seconds on the clock? Okay, it looks like most of you have gotten your answers in. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so let's look at our keywords first. We've got ED physician, multiple burns, that's what's being treated, our diagnosis can, uh, Diagnosis, third degree burns is further clarification of that diagnosis. Anterior and posterior portion of his left leg, that's where. Again, we've got third degree burns, anterior portion of the left side of his chest. Second degree burns, posterior portion of his upper back and left upper arm. All right, so I know for burns, I'm going to need at least three codes. I need the actual burn code. I need the code that describes the extent of the body area that was burned, and I need the external cause code or codes. So let me tell you where I start first. I usually look at the extent code first. Now, if you've heard me, tell this before can you guys remember why I would look at the extent code first did all of you guys I, I see somebody couldn't hear me did anybody else have trouble hearing me Okay, good, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Miss Deborah, that's what where I'm coming next. All right, so let me tell you why I code or why I look at the extent of uh, extent of body surface involved first. Um, oops, that clicked first. So look up here. Um, when you look at the extent of body surface involved, you go to the the boss code, and it shows that we need a fourth character. So if we go down to the fourth character, 
it says that we need a fifth character. So if we go down to the fifth character, that's all we need. We just need five characters. I have discovered in a lot of these scenarios that they like to uh, hide a wrong answer in amongst this extent of the body area codes like this right here in answer C because you've got so many codes going on that have the seven characters. They like to give you answers that have seven characters. So right away, knowing that, I wouldn't have even had to look at my scenario. I could have already eliminated answer C. So we don't want C because that code is incorrect. All right. So the rest of my extent of body area codes are correct in all three of the remaining answers. T31.20 burns involving 20% to 29% of body surface area with 0 to 9% third degree burns. Now, we didn't have to do the math since the only code that was different was wrong. But if we had to, we would need to do the math. We would need to add 4.5 and 4.5 and 13.5 to know the percentage and then decide what percentage was free. But we don't need to do that in this, in this particular scenario. So, as Deborah pointed out, I'm going to ask you, oh, well, actually, I'm not going to ask you. I'm just going to tell you. Deborah pointed out the next thing that I look at is my actual burn codes. So, and, and my burn degrees. So, tell me what is our, our coding guideline, our sequencing guideline as far as degrees? That's right, Ms. Patricia, you got, you got it right. The most severe first, the highest, yes, Cheryl, yes, Christy, yes, Francine, you got it. So that's easy to look at. I'm pointing out here, I'm clicking, if in our fourth character, the one is for first degree, two is for second degree, and three is for third degree. So since we know from our scenario that we have third degree burns, we can get rid of both A and B because they're coding second degree burns first. And that's incorrect. So now we're going to get rid of A and B, leaving our correct answer. Oops, I'm sorry, I went too far. Leaving our correct answer as D. And we didn't really have to look up any codes. So that's how you can do a burn scenario fairly quickly. Everybody got it? Any questions on this? Was that helpful? Anybody have an aha moment? Or, or is this trick old news to you guys? Everybody says they've got it. So we're going to move on. Miss Josie, would you mind reading this scenario for us? Sure, Miss Melissa. Okay, we'll start with the answers first, coders. A is 16020, 16025. B, 16035, 16036 times 2. C, 16036, 16035. And D, 16020, 16025. 
Susan is being treated for third degree burns to her right leg and right arm, which cover a total of 18 square centimeters. The burns are scrubbed clean, anesthetized, and three incisions are made with the number 11 scalpel through the tough leathery tissue that is dead in order to expose the fatty tissue below and avoid compartment syndrome. The burns are then redressed with sterile uh, gauze. Coders, uh, we'll do two and a half minutes on this one. You may begin. Hey, coders, get your answers in. It, it looks almost unanimous. Everyone's saying B in there, uh, Ms. Melissa. Great. Thank you so much, Ms. Josie. All right. Let's take a look at this. All right. You know my favorite question I like to ask, what did you notice about your answers before you started looking up? Did you lo notice anything? All right, Ms. Cheryl, she, she noticed that there was an add-on code. So did Tina. Ms. Patricia said the order of the codes. Miss Darlene also said she noticed the add-on code. So did Christy. Amazing. Great job. Great job, coders. All right. The other thing I noticed is that these are from two families. I see one is used for dressings and or debridement, and the other is for escarotomy. So, coders, do you know what escarotomy? Is. Tell me in the chat if you know what, what that is. Great job, Deborah. Yep, Cheryl. Yes, Tiffany. Okay, so escarotomy 
for those of you that don't know is we see the definition in um, if, if we take it apart automy remember is uh, incision and in the code language if you looked up the codes in the code language you see incision that's what Tomy means, right? So SCAR is dead tissue found in full thickness wound that sloughs off or falls off of healthy skin. And this is usually after a burn or ulcer. So SCAR is that dead skin. So, it, so if you put it all together, it's cutting the dead skin away. So if you didn't know that, here is my shameless plug to visit Miss Tasha's med term class on Monday. Uh, register for it and get in there and have fun learning and practicing medical terminology. It's a fun class, so go visit her. All right, back to our scenario at hand. With this information, let's look for our keywords, keeping in mind that we might wanna look for words that would indicate either dressing or debridement or SCAR. So let's look at our keywords. We've got third degree burns. That's our what? Our diagnosis. Right leg is where? Also right arm. This covers a total of 18 square centimeters. Three incisions. This is our how. Three incisions are made within 11, number 11 scalpel through tissue that is dead. Okay, folks, I don't see SCAR in there, but I do see this dead tissue. So that would give us a clue. And then we've got burns again and redressed. All right, my clicks are going too fast for me. Okay, so if we look at our keyword, our, our codes, I'm sorry. If we look at 16020, it says dressings or debridement of partial thickness burns, initial or subsequent. I'm not so sure about that. Oh, I got my clicks wrong. You guys already told me about the add-on code. You, you caught on to that. So um, if you'd looked at 1603, 036 you would see that it's an add-on code and we know the rule is that we can't sequence an add-on code first now on to 16020 dressings or debridement this this scenario isn't a debridement um, because of what i pointed out earlier tissue that is dead we also have the incision. So we have a better code than debridement for this. So I'm going to get rid of, of that. We don't even need to look at the 16025 because 16020 is wrong. So A is wrong because it's the wrong procedure. Also D is wrong because it's the wrong procedure. Leaving B. 16035 escarotomy initial incision and then we've got each additional incision so we've got 16036 times two because in our scenario we had three incisions this is why our keywords will drive our answers because you might have thought oh they're they're doing some the burns are scrubbed clean. That sounds like a uh, debridement, redressed, dressings. But our keywords, incision, tissue that is dead, drives us to our code. Any questions? Who got that right? I think, Miss Josie, did, did you guys say that there was 100%? There sure is. Outstanding. Outstanding. All right, we'll move on. Miss Altangela, if you'll read our next question. 
Thanks, ma'am. I'll be delighted. Codus, the answers are A, 13132, 13133 times 4, 13101, 12052, B, 1313213, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 times 3, 13131, 13101, 13102, 12052, C, 13133, 13133 times 3, 13102, 13152, D, 13131, 13132, 13133 times 3, 13101, 13102, 12052. The physician is called to perform repairs for a 70 year old girl involved in a motor vehicle accident. She sustained an 8.6 cm laceration to her forehead, a 5.5 cm laceration to her right cheek, a 4 cm laceration to her left cheek, a 4, lacer a 4 cm laceration across her chin, and a 12.5 cm laceration to her chest. The wound on her chin required a layered closure. All other wounds require complex closure. And coders, you have two and a half minutes starting right now. All right, coders, your time is up. Do you think they need a little more time? Uh, yeah, go ahead and give them another 45 seconds. All right, all right, coders, your, your time starts now.
All right, coders, your time is up. I'm glad we did that. All right, coders, let's take a look at this. We will start with our keywords. We've got physician, that's who's performing the procedure, performs repairs, 17 year old. Remember, we want to highlight age if it's if it's a if it's in our scenario that is a keyword motor vehicle accident 8.6 centimeter laceration that's what forehead is where 5.5 centimeter laceration right cheek 4 centimeter laceration left cheek 4 centimeter la laceration across her chin and a 12.5 centimeter la laceration to her chest. Wound on her chin required a layered closure. All right, let me ask you, how did you tackle this scenario? Tell me in the chat, what, how did you approach this first? Anybody have a, okay, I like that answer, Christy. Okay. So did anybody decide to take a look at the answer with a modifier in it first? Katina, you did. Good job. Miss Patricia, good job. Okay, so if you looked at that, you would have been able to eliminate answer B right away. So you folks that looked at that, tell me why you would have been able to eliminate it right away. Yes, Cheryl. Okay, so the add-on codes cannot have modifiers appended to them. So right away, answer B is wrong. Modifier 52 on an add-on code is not right. All right, so my next plan of attack after that, let me see if my click is right, telling me that we can get rid of B, it is. So my next plan of attack is this. According to my FTRs, I have written at the bottom of the pages with the repair codes, my code selection is based on the body area, and I'm supposed to add the repair sizes if they are in the same body area and the same complexity. So tell me which lacerations are we going to add together? Okay, I've got I've got two answers. Anybody else want to tell me? All right. So I'm going to go with Miss Cheryl. She says we're going to we're going to add the cheeks and the forehead, so both cheeks, the, the forehead, the left cheek, and the right cheek, but not the chin. Why not the chin? Okay. 
That's right, Deborah. That's right, Cheryl. They're telling me that, that it's a layered closure or it was intermediate. We can't add those because it's a different complexity, right? So with that information, let's go ahead and take a look at our codes. I'm going to start with, with answer D and code 13131. I'm starting there because it's the only, answer D is the only one that has 13131 in it. So if it's correct, I can eliminate everything else. If not, we'll have to go further. So let's look at it. 13131 says repair complex forehead, cheeks, chin, mouth, neck, axilla, genitalia, hands and or feet. 1.1 centimeters to 2.5 centimeters. So we just talked about this. We It's the forehead and the cheeks that we're needing to code for. Why is this one wrong? It's not enough. Yep, the it's the wrong size. Okay, so if we keep looking down at 13132, it's for a wound size of 2.6 to 7.5. Is that big enough? Uh, good job, Christy. She says yes and no, and she is right. So we'll start with the no first. It's not enough, but if we keep reading, we read on down to 13133, and it says each additional five centimeters or less. So we can, we will use 13132 in addition to 13133. So how many times do we need to use 13133? That's right. You got it. We need it three times. That eliminates answer A because Answer A says they're using 13133 times four. So that's too many. So that gives us our correct answer, but let's keep working it out anyway. So I'm going to look at the complex repair for the chest. 13101. Is it the correct size? <laughs> Christy's laughing again and saying yes and, and no. And she's right again. We With this one, we also have an add-on code, each additional five centimeters or less. So now we have complex the complex repairs taken care of. I'm going to take that intermediate repair of the chin. As you can see, it is covered by the 12052 code. Repair intermediate 2.6 centimeters to 5. centimeters. That fits the wound on her chin. However, I see that in our, our answer, if we hadn't got rid of A, I see that in our remain in those two answers, the difference is uh, what's the difference? The difference is that the in D they're wanting to we we've got the I'm so sorry I'm I'm totally wigging out here. Um, 13131 we didn't need because because the repair complex of the forehead um, 
hold on one second. I should have just stopped where when I was ahead. C is our correct answer. We've already figured it out. We're going to stop there. I don't want to confuse you. 13132, 13133 times 3, 13101, 13102, and 12052. That's our correct answer. Do you have any questions? Did I completely confuse everybody by my uh, confusing myself? Nope, I didn't confuse you. I'm I'm so glad. All right, let's move on. All right, Miss Jeannie, is this you? If not, Miss Josie, could I have you read this one? Sure, I can read this. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm here. I was, I'm reading away again and I'm on mute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so our answers are A, 10160 with modifier 78 and 99.842. B is 10180 with modifier 58 and N99.820. C, 10140 with modifier 78. S220.20 XS and D10140 with modifier 58 and N99.89. Patient has returned to the operating room for aspiration of a seroma that has developed from a genital urinary surgical procedure that was performed two days ago. A 16 gauge needle is used to aspirate 600 cc's of non cloudy sero sanguinous fluid what codes are reported so we'll start with two and a half minutes and your time begins now
Okay, coders, uh, that is time. I gave you a, a little bit of extra time. Um, so hopefully uh, y'all are getting all your answers in. Uh, chat's looking really good. All right, thank you so much, Miss Jeannie. Okay, coders, what was the first thing you did on this scenario? That's what I was looking for. Yes, Tiffany. Yep, Christy, Cheryl, Angela. They are all telling me, so is Darlene, that they looked at the modifiers. So which modifier did we want? A resounding 78 is what I'm seeing in the chat. 78 is unplanned return. All right, let's look at our keywords, see what we see. All right, we've got right straight away, patient has returned to the operating room. So now we just need to decide whether it was planned or unplanned. Aspiration of seroma developed from a genitor, genitourinary surgical procedure. Aha, I think that's my indication that this is an unplanned procedure. All right, that was performed two days ago. A 16 gauge needle, aspirate 600 cc's, non-cloudy seroseguinous fluid. All right, if we see here below, 58 is staged or related procedure. Well, they can't stage something that they don't know is going to develop. So I'm getting rid of answer B and D because it is not a staged or re related procedure procedure. It is 78, unplanned return to the operating procedure room by the same physician or other qualified healthcare professional following initial procedure for a related procedure during the post-operative period. So let's get rid of C, B and D. Now we've just got two codes to look at, 10160 and 10140. So 10140 says incision and drainage of hematoma. Is that what we had in our scenario? Did you see I and D in our scenario? No good, says Deborah. That is right. It is no good. That is not what we wanted. We did not see I and D. So 10140. And if we still, if we hadn't looked at the modifiers first, 10180 would be out. We did not have an incision and drainage. So we have 10160 puncture aspiration of abscess, hematoma, bulla, or cyst. That is exactly what we had aspiration of a seroma. Leaving answer A correct, and we really wouldn't need to take a look at that ICD-10 code at all. But you could, just to confirm. 